there, this is Justin of Shelly Hollow Farm and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy tomato sauce. Kudos to Sandy from the butcher station who taught me this little uh, quick method. A quick and easy tomato sauce, a quick and easy tomato sauce. Yeah. So first I'm going to get my bucket of tomatoes here that I'm going to cut up. I'm going to have my garlic and I'm going to use oregano, probably about a tablespoon of oregano. Then I'm going to cut, start cutting these tomatoes tops off. He's going to cut the tops off, yeah! And what I want to do is drain some of the juice out to make it easier for us to make sauce. So I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to poke puncture these holes and let some of that juice out and then give it a little bit of a squeeze. squeeze. Then I'm going to take a blender I'm going to do that with every one of these tomatoes. This way when you go to boil off your sauce you have a lot less liquid. And you'll be amazed how much liquid comes out of these. I'm using mostly big beef hybrid tomatoes right now, but you can really use any tomatoes. The meatier the better. So now we have our tomato puree and we no longer have to worry about blanching and you know worrying about the skins, which takes a long time. All we do is put that right into the pot and we'll get ready to boil it. So I used about a, a head and a half of garlic, chili jalapeno garlic. And what I'm going to do is just cut it up. I'm going to throw it into a skillet with some olive oil and brown it before I put it in the sauce. You can also roast garlic in the oven and throw it in the sauce like that. Also I wanted to show you, this is how much liquid came out of those tomatoes that we punctured. And squeezed. So that's how much time you're going to save just doing that instead of boiling off all that liquid. Before I start cooking just put about a tablespoon of oregano in and uh, if you have basil you can throw that in. You can really spice it however you want. And remember you can always spice it later too when you take it out of the freezer uh, maybe in the middle of the winter. Brown it a little bit. Throw all that in there. Probably let it boil for, I don't know, two hours. And see what thickness we're at. Maybe even shorter, we'll see. Oh. Missed one. figure out what we're going to do with all this tomato juice. And what are we going to do with this horseradish, Worcester sauce, hot sauce, and vodka? <laughs> 